Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm coming to you with a tutorial on this look that I'm currently wearing. So as most of you may be aware, it is winter where I am at the moment and for the past week or so, it's actually been quite cold. So I figured it was the perfect time for me to film a winter makeup look because during the winter time, I tend to go a little heavier with my makeup and a little darker. So as you can see, I'm rocking the dark lips right now. They're not super dark, but for me, it is dark because I'm all about the nude lips type of look. So um, yeah, I've just got on maroon burgundy lips with eyes to match and I really like this combination. So if you are interested to see how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting things off by spraying my face with some MAC Fix Plus. This is going to help keep my face super hydrated throughout the day because I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. And as much as I love this primer because it does help to control my oils, if I don't moisturize well enough beforehand, I do find my skin tends to feel really tight and dry, which is an unusual feeling for me since I have super oily skin. But anywho, for foundation, I'm using my current absolute fave. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This primer and foundation combo go hand in hand and they are absolutely amazing together. So to blend this in, I actually do prefer to use a beauty blender because I find it gives the most amaz amazing, amazing finish. So I'm just bouncing that beauty blender all over my face and blending it in. And then we've got to do something about these dark under eye circles. I've been getting really heavy dark circles lately. I don't know if it's the cold weather, the winter, lack of sleep, probably a combo of everything. But I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime stick in um, Bright Forecast and it has a peachy undertone so it really does help to minimize the look of dark circles. And then for concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. My shade that I like to use is NC20 because it's super light and helps to brighten up that area and give that kind of like concealed plus highlighted look at the same time. So here I am again with the Beauty Blender, but I'm using the other side of it to blend out all of that concealer. And after this, I am actually going to go in with a powder to set the concealer. With the same Beauty Blender, I find that it gives no creasing, which is awesome. As for the rest of my face, though, I don't set it because I did use a mattifying foundation. I feel like it doesn't need to be set with any kind of powder. But for the concealer, I like to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light because it keeps it super highlighted, which is a type of look that I like to go for because I got really bad under eye circles. But for the rest of my face, I'm just going to start bronzing it. So I'm using the Models Prefer um, Radiant Bronze Soft Touch Mineral Powder. And I'm just bronzing up my cheeks, my temples, underneath my jaw, and then whatever is left kind of goes on my nose, the sides of my nose, just so that the middle of my face doesn't look so flat and blank, if that makes sense. And now I'm just going in with some actual contour products. So I like to use the middle brown shade from the Australis AC on Tour Contouring and Highlighting Kit. I love this shade because it does have um, grey undertones throughout it, which is a little more flattering on my already so warm toned face. So I'm just contouring my face with that in the usual places, the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, and of course my nose. <laughs> Then I'm going in with some blush. So this is the Face of Australia blush in the shade Terra. This is my absolute go-to number one fave blush of all time. It suits every single look I do and without a doubt, it never fails me. So here I am just filling in my brows. For my brows, I like to use the Models Prefer Essential Brow Kit. I love it. It just I don't know, it's just my go-to brow kit. So here I am filling them in. I didn't really include too much of this because I find filling brows in to be really repetitive. It's the same thing every time. So I breeze through that and then I'm going to set them with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I love this stuff to set my brows and also makes them look a little more full and I don't know, it just makes your brows look perfect. Onto the eyes now, I am applying the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Audacious Ash 
belt. That is such a tongue twister. But I've just applied that to both of my lids up to the crease. And then I'm going into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and taking that shade Salted Caramel with a fluffy blending brush and running that all through my crease. Then I'm taking a more precise blending brush with the shade Semi Sweet from that same palette and kind of defining my crease a little more so I'm running that shade right in the socket of my crease. Next up, I'm taking the shade Amaretto and just packing that onto both of my lids up to the crease with a flat eyeshadow brush. For the outer corner of my eyes, I'm taking the shade Triple Fudge and applying that to those areas. This is just going to give the look a little more dimension and add a little more depth to my eyes. For my bottom lash line, I am taking the shade Semi Sweet and just running that along there with a precise blending brush. I also decided to add a little bit of amaretto on top of that just so it ties in the top lid with the bottom lash line a little better if that makes sense. So yeah, I am running a little bit of amaretto on top of that semi sweet shade. And then I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cold Kajal Pencil in the shade Nude. This is just going to help my eyes look a little more bigger and it's going to make me look more awake. And then I am lining my eyes with this product. I've been obsessed with it. It's the Maybelline Hyper Wing Liquid Liner and I love it. It's so easy to use and I get my wings liner right every single time with this thing. Onto the lashes now, I'm just curling them and I'm going to apply a few light coats of my fave mascara, which is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. So I'm just applying that to my bottom lashes and my top lashes. Then I am applying my falsies. These are my go-to falsies. They complement every single look that I do and I feel that they suit my eye shape really well. So these are the Ardell 120 Demi Wispies. Super common. A lot of people use them because they're so good. So once those were dry and done, I went in with the shade Mars Pen to the inner corner of my eyes because I do really like having that really bright, doe-eyed inner corner kind of look. And now it is time for my favorite part of my makeup application. It's time for highlighter. So I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. This is like number one go-to. It goes with every look and it just matches every skin tone really well, I find. So I'm packing that on like no tomorrow because I love highlighter. So I put that on the tops of my cheekbones and down my nose on my cupid's bow and I also do like to put a little above my brows. As you can tell, I love highlighter. As for my lips, I am just lining them with the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Soft Berry. I really like these lip liners because they're super inexpensive and they last pretty well. So looking at this now, I actually think I could have got away with not even applying a lipstick on top because the lips and the eyes seem to match pretty well as it is with just a lip liner, but of course I did decide to go on top with the Chi Chi lipstick in the shade Let Me Tempt You. Oh, 
Alright guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you can stay updated with all the videos that I post. I hope you're all having an awesome week. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.